Hello again. My name is Tetege Kepsi Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today our discussion on cash flows and integration for that matter will be on integration by substitution. Last I'll show you how to do integration. That's integrating a function using simple integration rules. If you have not watched that video, please go to YouTube and search for the Tetege Kepsi Richie and watch that video. So today, before the video will end, I will show you when to use integration by substitution and how to do integration by substitution. So come with me. So when do we use integration by substitution? Let me explain using this function. So if we have a function, a gradient function, we are asked to integrate that function, okay? And when you differentiate, uh, you differentiate one aspect of the function, it will give you another aspect in the integral. When such things happen, you use integration by substitution. So look at it. When we differentiate this, when we differentiate s exponent n, what do we get? We we'll get. Remember differentiation. We will draw the exponent, okay, and subtract one from it. So we see that when we differentiate this, we are getting this, and that is what is here. When such things happen, we we'll use integration by substitution. It, will be a, it is a very interesting one. So we just check the aspect of the function that if you differentiate that aspect, will you get another aspect in it? When it happens like that, we use integration by substitution. So we'll take a sample question and I'll show you how to do integration by substitution. So let's look at our first question. Let's evaluate the integral of x squared bracket s exponent 4 minus 2 all exponent 5 ds so if you want to use uh, integration rule to do this that means you have to expand this after that you use this to multiply that would be a very difficult task so you, you you though you can do that but it will take a long time to do it so check if i differentiate s exponent 4 what will i get you see i'll get 4 s exponent 3 if I differentiate this. So, this is popping up from it, from the differential of this. When it happens like that, we use integration by substitution. So, how do we do that? How do we do that? So, we can rewrite this function. Let's rewrite this function first. So, we can write this as the integral of s exponent 4 minus 2 all exponent 5 s cube ds. I did not change anything. Multiplication is still committed. So we we'll let we we'll let u to be equal to that aspect of the function that if you differentiate will be another. So this so we we'll let u to be equal to s exponent 4 minus 2. Then we we'll differentiate. Find the u over the x. The u over the s will be, remember, simple differentiation will, will get 4 s exponent 3. Remember, the differentiation of a constant is 0. Now, what we do? We make the u the subject. We make the u the subject. So, we multiply both sides by dx. So, our du will be equal to 4 s cube dx. Now, we are looking for s cube ds. You see, we have s cube ds here. So, we just divide both sides by 4. To get s cube ds. I hope you hear that. So we need our s cube ds as I told you. So we divide both sides by 4. So we get the u over 4 to be equal to s cube ds. So now, now we'll come to our integration, our, our problem. So in place of s exponent 4 minus 2, we we'll put u there. And in place of s cube ds will put the u over 4. Then we change the whole system from x functions into u function. So let's go. So we have the integral of s exponent 4 minus 2 all, ex all exponent 5 s cube ds. So we change that. So the whole of this is u. Remember, look at it. So we say u exponent 5 then s cube ds will be the u over 4. 
So what do we do? This is one over four, we can bring it out. We have one fourth the integral of u exponent five du. So when we integrate this, remember we add one to that and divide the function by the result. So we get one fourth u s one fourth uh, u exponent six over six. So we add one to five, that will be six. We divide the result, the function by that result. Then plus our constant of integration. So remember, this is one by six. We can bring it up to get one fourth times one six u exponent six plus. So when we, when we solve this, we get one over twenty four u exponent six plus c. However, we don't have u in our initial function. We don't have it. We don't have u there. So, but we said we should let u to be constant. So we just replace it. Then we get our integral. We just replace it, then we get our integral. So we let's replace our u. So we have 1 over 24. Our u is s exponent 4 minus 2 all exponent 6 plus c. So we can say that the integral of s square, uh, okay, s cube, the initial, s cube bracket, s square minus to all exponent 5 dx is equal to 1 over 24 s exponent 4 minus 2 all exponent 6 plus c. That would be the answer. That would be the answer. It's a very interesting one. And I know you get a concept. We'll solve one more question so that you'll be abreast with it. So let's look at the same way. Let's solve the integral of s, the square root of s square minus 1 dx. So we check whether it can use integration by substitution. If we differentiate this, if we differentiate s squared, if we differentiate s squared, we'll get 2x. On differentiate, we'll get 2x. So you see that this is copy now. So we can use integration by substitution. So we rewrite this function as the integral of the square root of s squared minus 1 x. You know the square root of any number is that number exponent half. So you can rewrite this as the square root, uh, the integral of s square minus one exponent half x. Yes, here yeah, you see. So now we let u to be equal to that aspect that if you differentiate, you get the other aspect in the integral. So we let it be equal to s square minus one. Then we differentiate du over dx will be equal to 2x. Now we make du the subject. So our du will be equal to 2x dx. Now we need x dx. So we divide both sides by 2. So our du over 2 will be equal to x dx. So now in a place of x squared minus 1, we put u. And in a place of x dx, we put the u over 2. In this. Then we integrate Everything after substitution will be, ten, will be changed from x function to u function. Then after integrating, you replace. You replace. So now we have our integral of x squared minus 1 exponent half x dx. So what is x squared minus 1? x squared minus 1 is u. Is u. So we have u exponent half. Then x dx, look at this, x dx is du over 2. So we have du over 2. We can rewrite this. You know this is half, we can bring it out. So half outside, the integral of u exponent half du. So now, how do we integrate this? Remember integration, we will add 1 to the exponent, divide the function by the result. So half u exponent half plus 1, all over half, plus 1. Then, plus our constant of integration. So, half, half plus 1, when we add half to 1, we get 3 out of 2. So, over 3 out of 2, plus our constant of integration. Now, remember that the, when a, a, fractions are, a fraction is divided, we can reciprocate. Then, a numerator will become a denominator. So, half, half, times, this will be 2 out of 3, u exponent 3 over 2 plus c, plus our c. 
Now, this can divide that. So, we'll be left with one third U exponent 3 over 2 plus C. Now, what is our U? We replace. We replace. So, we have one third. Our U is S squared minus 1. So, we replace that. So, in place of you put our S squared minus 1 exponent 3 over 2 plus C. We can rewrite this again. So, I'll show you how to rewrite that. So, as I told you, we can rewrite this as 1 third S squared minus 1 exponent half then 3. When we multiply this, we get this back plus C. Now, 1 third. Remember, the square root when any number is put in half, is the square root of that number. So the square root of s square minus 1, then exponent 3 plus c. Then this, the integral of that, the integral of x, the square root of s square minus 1 dx will be equal to 1 third the square root of s square minus 1 all cube plus c. That will be the integration of this function. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. We'll solve one more so that you'll be abreast with the concept. So we look at our third question. But before then, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. And let's look at it. So check. When, we, when you differentiate one aspect, will you get the other? Look at it. When we differentiate s squared, we get 2x. So you can use integration by substitution. So let's rewrite this function. We can rewrite this function as the integral of 1 over s squared plus 1, 2x dx. I do not change anything. It's still multiplying. So when we multiply this by this, we'll get 2x all over s squared plus 1. So now what we do, let u or any other variable be equal to s squared plus 1. Then we differentiate our du by dx we got 2x. On differentiate we get 2x. On differentiate the constant is nothing but 0. Then our du we multiply both sides by dx. So we get 2x dx. Look at this. We are looking for 2x dx. It came. It pops out. So we don't have a problem. So in place of 2x dx, we put our du. And in place of x squared plus 1. So after this, our integral, this will become the integral of so 1 over x squared plus 1 in place of x squared plus 1. Look at it. In place of x squared plus 1, we have u. So put u there. So we have 1 over u, then 2x dx. 2x dx, we have 2x dx here, is du. So put du there. So du. Now how do we integrate this? Remember that. I'll show you how to integrate this. Uh, in one of my videos. Please check it out. Check my videos on uh, introduction to integration. It's on YouTube. So the integration of this is nothing but lean u, lean u plus our constant. Now, we don't have u in our initial, but u is what? u is equal to x squared plus 1. So we just replace it. So we have lean x squared plus 1 then plus c. Then we can say that the integral of 2x over x squared plus 1 dx is equal to lean x squared lean x squared plus 1 plus our constant of integration. That, that is very simple. It's very simple. I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Please remember again to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. And so we meet again on another aspect of integration. Bye bye.